You ever pretend to be an airplane as a kid? Chasing your friends around, arms stretched out wide while making machine gun and fast flying noises as you wore yourselves out? Air Brawl is a multiplayer arcade dogfighting game that brings that feeling back and then some. Barring a few small projects for school, Air Brawl is the first game to come barreling out of the mind of Will Nil. During a break in high school, Will Nil decided to see if he could make a box in Unity. Then he decided to see if he could make it fly. From there, it was just a natural progression to making maps, weapons, and other gameplay features. After about a year of work and some help from friends in the sound and netcode department, Air Brawl has released on Steam's early access platform just a few days ago. Inspired by Battlefield and Planetside 2, the controls are easy to understand and allow for some badass maneuvers and in combination with combat and weapons inspired by Team Fortress 2 and Dota allow for some exceptionally satisfying kills. In its current form, Air Brawl offers 5 maps, 6 ships, and 5 game modes, and though the game modes present are pretty basic, the ships and their variety more than make up for it. Each ship has two main guns and two secondaries that you can switch between on your loadout, as well as a special ability. Whether you enjoy dogfighting, sniping, playing a support role, or being a dick, Air Brawl has something that you're gonna enjoy flying around. The ship designs themselves are all A+. Each one has a varied theme and sticks with it down to the weapons, sound, and even the cockpit. Each ship ability has advantages or disadvantages, but most seem to have at least one in common. They are all far more powerful in tight areas. It's important that you don't think of Air Brawl as a traditional dogfighting game. You won't be paying a lot of attention to the specific part's health, or worrying about how the wind is affecting your bullets, or even really engaged in one-on-one -on -one combat, at least in the deathmatch modes, due to the chaotic and cartoonish nature of the weapons and abilities in play. In Capture the Flag, however, there's quite the opportunity for strong team play, strategizing, and top gun level chases. The level design is not only visually pleasing due to the vibrant colors and just an of detail, but the actual layouts themselves allow for interesting strategies due to all the nooks, crannies, and hidden areas you can find. There's something so supremely jonesing about having your mind set on that jerkwad who took your flag and hunting him down with your rifles trying to get a good shot while having to dip and dive and bank through tight corridors, all to open into a huge open area where you can cut him off to make that shot. Or explode. And exploring to find these areas is all part of the fun too. With plans to add more varied game modes, weapons, and ships, Air Brawl is well on its way to being a lively and complete shooter. With luck, we'll see an interesting competitive scene around it. You can pick it up for $9.99 on Steam, and you can find aviator sunglasses at most malls for pretty cheap. I'll see you in the danger zone! That's all for this episode of Indie Bites. Thanks for joining. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like and subscribe for more. Be sure to check out our website, pixelattack.net, for more articles and videos that I've done, as well as what others have done. If you're interested in seeing a more casual side of stuff that I do, check out my personal YouTube channel, linked in the description. And lastly, if you have any indie games that I should check out for Indie Bites, leave a comment below or shoot me a message on Twitter. My handle's at ForkH. That's all. Bye bye